Hello. So I thought I'd make a uh, video response to your video about sex before marriage because uh, I thought that it was an interesting topic. Just to give you a little bit of background, I um, I used to be a Christian myself, a very conservative one at that. And so I, you know, I can understand where they're coming from. Although also, you know, having left that faith and no longer having a book to refer to to answer all of life's questions, I was kind of forced to rethink them myself and try to try to figure out what's really what without having the luxury of easy answers in a book somewhere. Well, first off, let me say, i got to be honest, I hate the car analogy. It's way overused, and it's just not a good analogy, in my opinion. Uh, for one, a car is something that you go out to a car lot and uh, maybe take for a test drive, you know, buy. It's a piece of property, and I don't like to think of other human beings as pieces of property one thing I don't like about the car analogy. And the second thing is that um, marriage is about a whole lot more than just sex. Ask anyone who's married. I've never been married, so take this with a grain of salt. But the people I know who've been married tell me that it's way more than just sex. It's about, you know, things like having common life goals and being compatible emotionally and physically and etc cetera, etc cetera. Uh, there's a lot more than just sexual compatibility and that's why I don't think it's a good idea for people to get married too quickly because you can't know all of those things about a person you know in just say a few months and the other thing is again Take this with a grain of salt, because I've not had sex myself, so I don't know. But I know plenty of people who have, and, you know, I've asked them, uh, so is it better, worse than masturbation? And almost all of them say it's worse, at least at first. Because you don't know how to please your partner, your partner doesn't know what you like, and, you know, you're probably doing it a lot worse than you would if you were just taking care of yourself. There are good reasons for having sex and there are not so good reasons. And growing up I'm well aware of all of the stupid reasons that people have sex. There's this mistaken notion of you have to have sex to prove your manhood or you know you're more of a man the more women you have had sex with which is I think just stupid. If you're having sex with someone, the only good reason I can think of is because you want to and because you're in love with them. The other thing I don't like about the, the car analogy is I don't know if it's strictly necessary to actually have sex with someone to know if you're going to be compatible. There are plenty of ways that you can find out. You can talk about your preferences beforehand. In fact, you probably should. I can't imagine someone going into marriage having no idea what kind of sex that their partner is going to be interested in or wants. You know, depending on your definition of sex, there are, you know, other things, kissing, fondling, whatnot. Although, what Bill Clinton did, I, I have a feeling I would define I that as I did not sex. have sexual relations but with that But different woman. people draw the line different places. You know, is fondling sex. I don't know. It's kind of that great... Why bother to define what constitutes sex in the first place, unless you have some motivation for saying you're not doing it? for themselves what they're willing to do before marriage or before a serious relationship, and they should think about it well in advance. And you really shouldn't put off deciding what your policy on sex is going to be until you're in the heat of the moment because then you're not going to be thinking rationally. You said guys are only 
as loyal as their options? I really don't think that's true. I mean, that's a rather rather pitiful view of guys, I think. We, we have willpower. Come on. You know, if you really want something in life, you can refrain and abstain from whatever you need to in order to get it. You know, if I saw a really hot chick walking down the street and I, you know, maybe in my head I, I'm thinking, you know, gee, I wonder what it would be like to have sex with her. That doesn't mean I'm going to go out and do it. I do have a rational part of my brain that says, uh, no, that wouldn't be such a good idea. But you should refrain from it. That'd be a better idea. And the same goes with loyalty. You know, if I really love somebody and I don't want to hurt them, and I don't want to hurt myself, because I think that when you're unfaithful in a relationship, even if the other person never finds out about it, you you feel the impact of it yourself, and it, it damages the relationship. And I think guys are perfectly capable of abstaining. However, I think, I think you're right about a lot of guys that are unfaithful, are unfaithful because they're dissatisfied with something about uh, their current relationship. You know, I don't think that someone just sees a hot chick walk by on the street, has a biological response, and just because of that, they go have an affair. If a guy is going and having an affair, I really think it's because, first off, he's dissatisfied with his current relationship. And you know, if, if you're dissatisfied with your relationship, why not say so? I mean, I would, I would love to have the kind of relationship with someone where I could be that honest. And I think you need to be that honest in a marriage. I think that if you're not enjoying the sex, you really ought to talk about it. And I'd like to be honest enough that I could you know, say to my wife, you know, I walked past this lady on the street, and boy, was she hot. I'm not saying that I would act on it. I'd love to have that kind of comfort where she wouldn't take offense to me saying something like that, where I could just be that honest. So I guess, well, I agree with what you're saying in part, and I certainly think that education ought to teach people a lot more than just abstinence, because not everybody has the same religious views, not everybody has the same willpower. Statistics show teenagers, a lot of them are going to have sex, even the conservative religious ones. And if they are not educated about it, then they're basically stumbling into the dark. Bad idea. At the same time, you know, I don't think it's necessarily harmful to refrain from sex until you're really, really ready for it. After making this video, I found an excellent, excellent video on love and marriage. And so I think I'm going to post a link to it in the description of this video. Um, even though it's long, uh, I think it's an excellent video. And I pretty much agree with what this guy says.